Llegué a Estados Unidos hace 15 años en búsqueda de mejores oportunidades. Desgraciadamente, el idioma ha sido una barrera. He tratado de aprender en inglés, pero reconozco que aún debo mejorar. Provengo de una familia humilde, soy el mayor de, de ocho hermanos. Para poder costear mi universidad tuve que tener varios trabajos. Me gradué de la Universidad de Querétaro en la especialidad de artes culinarias. Trabajé como chef en varios de los restaurantes más prestigiosos del estado de Querétaro. Yo creo que la gastronomía mexicana es una de las artes más exquisitas que existen en, en nuestro país. Cocinar es mi pasión, definitivamente. Y honestamente me siento bien frustrado porque en los últimos 15 años he asistido a varias entrevistas de trabajo y siento que no se me ha dado la oportunidad por mi limitación al idioma. Llevo ya varios años en este país y voy a seguir luchando y trabajando para demostrar que yo también tengo algo positivo que aportar a esta gran nación. Y el idioma no va a ser una barrera. School was sort of important to me, um, getting the education because I, I was more going, unfortunately, because I didn't really feel like I had any choices. Um, I was told that this is what you do, this is how you, how you succeed, and this is what you have to, basically. Um, fortunately, I found that I was able to find something, because I went to school, I found something that I really enjoy or may not have ever found this if I didn't go to college. So I definitely don't regret anything. I really enjoyed it. So one of my friends told me that, hey, there's this ballroom dancing society at CNU. You should come give it a try. Um, I had never done any ballroom dancing before or anything like that. I had a little bit of jazz and ballet because I was doing musical theater. Um, but I said, hey, why not? I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, and what I do is I really, I, its job title is dance instructor. But really, I do so much more than that. Um, I help people who, I help couples reconnect uh, who have, who their kids have moved out and they're looking for something uh, to do together. Um, I help people find really a, a great new hobby. Um, it's a, uh, some people are looking for a great way to work out and it's definitely a lot more intense than some people will give it credit for, especially in the beginning. Um, and really just to have a lot of fun. So when I decided to um, discontinue my college career, uh, I had a couple people that were really, really supportive. My mom uh, was, I was always been re really supportive of anything that I do. Uh, some people thought I was crazy for doing musical theater. She was supportive there. My, uh, but especially when I, when it came to dropping out of school, I had a lot of friends that were um, really almost disappointed. They weren't really sure what I was doing. Um, and then, but my, again, my mom was always really supportive, so I've always had at least one person there to, to be happy for me. And uh, so I was able to pursue this dream that I found and um, end up where I'm at today, which is really cool. I consider myself first generation college student. Um, my parents, both of them, they, for uh, religious reason, they couldn't uh, finish their education, and I really consider this a good opportunity for me to be able to finish my education. Rather than my parents, they were forced to get out of school because of their religion. My parents and my, me, we are Baha'is, and in Iran, if you are Baha'i, you're not allowed to go to any public universities. Like they understood the importance of education, and. Uh, that was, that was the main reason for us to migrate to the United States, for my brother and I to finish our education, our college. So we really did appreciate their efforts and their hard working. I know it's, it's going to be hard for them. And again, it's really hard when you, when you leave everything, when you leave everything behind to just make sure your kids go to a, to a college. So I do appreciate their efforts and that's why I did my best when I was in college, so to make them proud. 